Hello, my name is Jason Kunz and I'm a technical marketing engineer working on Cisco Identity Services Engine with a specific focus on guest access and mobility. The Cisco ICE demonstration will introduce you to location-based services with Mobility Services Engine. Starting with ICE 2.0, we can write policy in ICE to control access based on physical location. Prior to this feature, the definition of a location on a network was very static and was based on methods that aren't dynamic, such as the network device or group of devices where a user connected to the network. Location hasn't been based on the real geographic location of a user who might be moving around, frequently changing location, even location within a specific building. The location-based authorization enabled by the integration of Cisco MSC with ICE increases the granular control administrators have and the ability to be more sensitive in their access authorization. MSC will also help administrators enforce location-based policies by periodically checking for location change and automatically reauthorizing the user if a location change is detected. This makes the configuration of location-based policies with MSC more simple and streamlined. You can define user access policies leveraging the same management tools already available through ICE. This is pretty important for customers who want to control access to resources based on physical location. Now you can imagine many different applications for this in multiple areas such as an industrial environment where controlling the movement of a machinery should be restricted to individuals who have a line of sight. In this particular case, writing policy based on location is critical for ensuring safety. Another use case may be on Wall Street where special access to critical data is needed on the training floor, but not in other places. For today's demo, however, we will use another use case often seen in healthcare where we are trying to restrict access to patient records for privacy concerns. In this scenario, we would like doctors and medical staff to only have access to patient records when they are in specific locations such as the patient room, but not to have this same access in the cafeteria. In this demo, I will be utilizing the required solution components of ICE, MSC, and Cisco Prime. So with that, let's get into our demo. I'm a doctor on the emergency room floor, and I need to access my patient records. I access my settings, connect to the wireless network, and then log in with my credentials. After I'm connected, I then launch a browser and connect to the healthcare portal and proceed to access the record server. Since I am in a trusted location, I am granted access to the patient information. ICE provides and also utilizes rich contextual data to authorize the device. Notice in the radius live logs the doctor accessing the network using .1x with an authorization policy where location allows patient records and an authorization profile for tier one access, which in the network is the highest level of access. Digging deeper into the radius event, notice the more detailed information, such as type of device, authorization policy, user, and the map location indicating the user is in a safe area on the floor. A cool feature that can be used in operations and troubleshooting from the live log, we can grab the MAC address and do real-time location lookup from the MSC through an API call. Here you can see I'm pasting in the MAC address and then getting the location in real time. We can also look at the location tree that, is, that ICE has obtained. This information is used when building authorization profiles and rules. Cisco Prime provides a map, location coverage, and AP positioning. It manages the necessary information needed from the wireless solution, including the WLC. Here you can see where your client and access points are positioned. This information is used in conjunction with the MSC to provide location back to ICE. Notice our client in the blue area is located in the Allow Patient Records area. In order to show you how a client would be denied access when going, to, we are going to move the position of our AP to a location where patient record access is blocked. Notice that the client location moved into the cafeteria where we are denying access to the record server. We can now show the Mobility Services Engine screen, which is access from Prime. MSC utilizes information from Prime and is used to track the client location that ICE can use. 
ICE pulls the MSC for information on a periodic basis. Notice the active floors, access points, and zones that are used for device tracking. Now we can go back to ICE and show location changing in the radius logs. Notice that after we remove the device, it is now being given access based off of the new location, which is restricting access to the patient records. We are now getting a tier two access, which doesn't allow access to the medical record servers. Looking deeper into the details, notice the deny patient records map location is now being used. Now we go back to the iPod, which was used to access the network. We open the browser and try to get back into the medical records. Notice now that we're being blocked access to the needed patient information. Thank you for watching my demonstration. For more information, please visit cisco.com slash go slash ice.